Good afternoon. Hey, gang. So, I'm going to have more specific titles for the what we're discussing. Of course, we can still discuss whatever you want and whatever questions you may have. But I think that'll help with the general lives, right? It'll be a little better if we're discussing specifically a topic. So today, and if you guys haven't checked out our newsletter with uh, Good Face Stuff, which is my brand, we have newsletters, which are pretty great. And so the discussion last newsletter on Sunday was collagen. So I thought we could discuss collagen and how our products have, which products help contribute to your collagen in your face. Fabulous collagen. Of course, I love drinking collagen. If you're vegan, you probably don't want to drink cow bones, but um, that always helps. I really think that, you know, and just taking your proteins, basically. So if you're vegan, you can do the, a lot, get your amino acids, all of your various amino acids. There's a lot of ways to do that. Thanks for the thumbs up, you guys. Here's like my generic cup, not KCRW, although I love KCRW. Um, there's also the bamboo extract and the horsetail extract you can do if you're vegan or vegetarian to help internally, darlings, and your vitamin C. So the discussion, the main topic in the, a large subject in the Saturday, I mean, Sunday's collagen newsletter from Good Face Stuff, which you're welcome to go and sign into those. If you probably, a lot of you guys already have that coming into your inbox, but they're a little more informative now. Hi! Hi! How you doing? Thank you, Kim. Marshall Photography. So we have our, the peptide, the vitamin C. Yes, vitamin C. Get your vitamin C internally, definitely. I take a liposomal vitamin C uh, often. I ran out, so I've stopped. Hey, Rachel! Hugs and love bubbles. Yes. Um, but the vitamin C, specifically the the oil soluble vitamin C. Hey, Leslie! <laughs> Beauty head! Thank you very much. I really actually like the hair today is a mixture of the Bounce Curl and the Tanya's Handmade. So it's pretty good. I still like my haircut. Like the best haircut. We're manageable. Sometimes it's a little, hey, hugs and kisses, Patricia Jolly. Sometimes it's a little, it, it's, it's definitely a long layered look. I like it. Feels like a mermaid. The collagen, stimulating vitamin C, oil soluble vitamin C. Yay! Thank you, darling. It is rosé, your favorite, and I'm just doing whimsy right now. Um, whimsy. So there's collagen, actually, vegetable derived in our lip plumper, and the peptides in here too help with the plumping. Thank you, darling. Yeah, I like whimsy right now. So these, there's peptides that make the tingle. Um, and there's also the peptides that long-term help plumpy the lips. So peptides are small enough amino acids that go, that can go into your skin. Like there's a few peptides in our, uh, four different peptides in the glow and the plush that help increase your collagen. Yay, me mom's hair. Excellent. So that's great because they can go through the skin. They're, you want them small enough that they can go through the skin and they actually have special messages to the skin to create more collagen. And also, in the glow, they have the Tetra C. That's where I started. And the Lux. And the Lip Enhancer. Fabulous. As well as in our Lusters, which are our skincare and makeup. Right, my favorite, which is the... Oh, I didn't even put it on my cheeks today. Oh my gosh. Just put it on the lids. Okay, so trans instant transformation. So oil, soluble vitamin C not only helps with the... Thank you, Leslie. <laughs> not only helps with the... Um, there we go. Because I still have a little pigmentation right there. It helps with the pigmentation, but it also helps with the collagen synthesis in your skin. So 
it penetrates deep down into the dermis. That's why it's my favorite oil soluble, favorite vitamin C is oil soluble one. In Lux, this, in all the products almost, it's not in the retinol, which this is retinol. Um, yeah, man. Yes. So that's, oh dear, happens to Betsy. How are you guys? That's, yes, building collagen. We are going to be coming up probably until the winter. Thank you, Sherry. Um, I'm 5'8". Five 5'8". Eight. Five eight. I... Yes, back to the skincare regimen. Yeah, I just put, oh my gosh, some bright on. Modek. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> Not quite model height. Well, my light's like a 510. Um, but unless you're really skinny, I guess. Niacin. You know, I have an ancient video, maybe, I don't know how long ago, but it, it's, I put niacin in cream once and it is really intense and, or, and I've eaten it too. I'd got nice and from bulk supplements. I don't think they have it anymore. Now it's nice. It's, it's, uh, non, I, well, lots of gel basically. I, this is a Tanya's handmade and bounce curl combined with my mermaid haircut. Rolfing. I love rolfing, but is that what you're, is that a typo? Rolfing is a deep tissue, but niacin. Okay. So they have non stinging, non burning niacin now from, um, bulk supplements, but I have tried the one that it, that like gives you the flush, not stinging, flushing. And it's very intense. And I put it in a cream and it was, whew, yes, non flushing. And it was, it was a lot. So now they have the non-flush kind, which I think is supposed to still have the same benefits for your heart um, as well. So it flushes skin, you know, which is supposed to be beneficial. Can you have the squirrel, you guys? My cat was terrorizing the squirrel. Oh, Rolfing. Oh, my mother was talking about that. Okay. Flush is better one. Simulates HGC, human growth hormone. Interesting. The other day, 3.7, what was that, Leslie? Sorry, I didn't catch that one. Well, that's interesting, because I couldn't find it anymore with the bulk, at uh, the bulk supplements. I'm sure you could still find it somewhere, but. Yes, thank you, darling. Sorry I missed last week. Do you have any experience using copper peptides? What do you think of them? Now, we're gonna have some secret reveal. We're gonna have some copper peptides in the, in the creams that we're gonna Oh my God, I'm probably not supposed to say that, but I don't really notice any difference. Cases were down. I don't know what that, what? That's probably referring to Leslie. I missed some things here and there. Um, <laughs> three percent of cases a day average of the, oh, of the coronavirus. That's amazing. Yeah, way better than how we're doing. We just had like record days, as you probably know. Freaky. Yeah, it's very desolate here, walking through Hollywood, which I barely do, but, um, copper peptides. Yes. I'm not really sure, but apparently it does have an effect, but I don't experience anything. Has anybody else had amazing results with copper peptides? It seems like the science is there, but I don't know. Thank you. It's the, it's the combo of the gel. Yeah. Just lots of gel. That's the secret of the hair, the curly hair, the niod. How do you like it? Ooh, the squirrel is like jumping right up. Yeah. The help. I mean, I, I guess it would be an interesting to use with the derma rolling maybe. Yeah. It's hard to tell. Maybe if you derma rolled it in, but then there's all the other things in there that you want to make sure is okay to derma roll. Use for a stibor stiborn. What's that? 
Um, so somebody was telling me about the vampire facial where you, you, it was a nurse. She had experienced, she's done some, hi, Ray Ray, stubborn dark mark on your face. Well, have you tried tranexamic acid? There's a few tranexamic acid. That's like the new and exciting dark spot. Maybe that would help. Um, T R A N X A M I C? Tranexamic? No, no. T R, yeah, it's an X, not a Z, I think. Is that right, you guys? Could somebody look that up? Yes, it's going to have tranexamic acid in it, which is, I'm sure, I've seen a few of them. Mm. I think, um, because we don't have one yet. Oh. I'll have to see, I'll have to get back to you, Patricia, for a few of them. But also, that might be something to derma roller in to your skin. That's what, I mean, I've. I know that there's some success with melasma, with dark spots like that. If it's a big one, yeah, I, I, I don't know if it's a small one or a bigger one because melasma is the blotches, but transamic acid. Can somebody put that in to the, <laughs> I can't remember how to spell it, T-R-A-N, I'm pretty sure it's X, not a Z. But I would look, Google that, Patricia Darling. Um, do I, how are your teeth? <laughs> small one in your cheek. Thank you. Transamic acid. There you go. Well, maybe small ones. Nasty dark spot on your nose. Everyone has the spots. Keep this, keep it sunscreen, but also you might try transamic acid. Mmm. Delicious. Did I miss a topic? Hair. Talking about the crunchy hair, that, that's definitely the way. Yeah, the more gel, which it kind of gets, it's like, like, I don't like it getting on my neck and like my back and stuff. I'm, this, isn't that, does that bother anybody that does the curly girl method? That's the only problem with it. But the more gel, the better. I love it. Um, we also have collagen, I just remembered, in silk. Did you guys, did I say that? Tranexamic acid is a, um, a pill that, I mean, it's a medication as well, but you're putting it on topically. It's used for like blood clots, I think, that you, whales in full lockdown is a, oh, oh my God, little vamp, that's intense. My heart. I'm, I'm giving you a big hug. That is intense. Yes. Yeah, coconut oil would, would weigh my hair down. Little vamp, I'm sending you love. My goodness. Whew. Brain surgery. My goodness. And wow, that's very intense. Little vamp, I hope you're getting support and help that you need during the lockdown. My goodness. Woo. Any other discussion topics? <laughs> Healing energy to you, Vamp. Little Vamp. Don't forget your first name. My goodness. Yeah, make sure you're getting some support and talk therapy. Darling. Sending you love. It's okay. I just want you to be supported over there. That's intense. I, yeah, yeah. It's okay, darling. I know that that is, my goodness. It happens. It still happens. I have friends. My goodness. Tanya, yes. I hope you're getting, yeah, definitely get therapeutic help sooner than later because that's what you need. I mean, I've had friends who've gone through that and haven't for a long time. No support. 
Oh my gosh. Tanya. Well, getting psychological support is you really need that. Because I mean, of course it would that is unfathomable that they're not helping right now, but they I really hope that the police get on that. That's terrible, but you need what you need is to work within I can't believe that. That's insane. They have to. Well, but I want you to get some support also, like some psychological support for that, for yourself. Yeah, things will get better. That's for sure. But that's where you could spiral. I hope there's justice, but even if whatever happens with that, getting some psychological support so you can move on in your life and continue virtual therapists. That's right. There's a squirrel that's about to jump onto my, oh my God, my cat's gonna jump on the squirrel. Do not. Oh my God. I really want to watch the Bureau. I was just hearing about that. It's a French, so I have to read French the whole time, but. Stretch marks. Somebody was talking about stretch marks. And, oh, I was, okay, so derma rolling is supposed to help with that too, but vitamin E. Did you put vitamin E just straight on, Regina? I was having to write somebody else about that. Should they postpone surgery? I mean, they probably shouldn't. I know that surgeries are starting to go in. You didn't? Oh. <laughs> Cocoa butter. Vitamin E. I don't know how well the vitamin E will really work for dark spots, but I know that for stretch marks, definitely does. And I'm also... The, um, what is it called? I'm forgetting the name. Well, rosehip seed oil, but oils that have the dark orange pigment, the carotenoids. I gotta remember the name. It is sea buckthorn. <laughs> sea buckthorn seed oil, also for stretch marks. You could dilute it. Well, I guess you could put it straight on, but it's very, very orange. Besides vitamin E oil. Yeah, sea buckthorn oil. You're having my same. To red stretch marks is what I was asking. Sea buckthorn. The alienist. Oh, I watched that on Netflix. The nootropics I am taking is. Damn it! I can't remember this. A long time. Thank you! Yes! From France. I have been abused. Oh my gosh, darling. But that's why you're, that's, man, I have justice. For dark spots, uh, I think the transamic acid will be more than vitamin E. Darling, man. The, that's horrific. Skin drop. Oh yeah, that's the that's that firming uh, cream that you were discussing. Who were you telling? You were telling that to Patricia. So, oh, for dark spots. Yeah, I think. I don't know how. Yeah, that would definitely. I think that has some effect, but I think you want the acids as you know, and also oil soluble vitamin C is supposed to be good for penetrating in but really I think acids are going to have the most effect like the lactic acids glycolic acid transamic acid 
which doesn't isn't as like eats transdermic acid is weird. It doesn't really it's acidic, but it's not eating away at your skin like lactic acid and, and glycolic acid. Um, did I miss a question? Oh, no tropics. The, <laughs> they're not helping my brain. I am taking, I can't ever remember the name of it, but, but it's not, I'm not taking very much right now. You two and the cats have been a saving grace. Love you, Tanya. My goodness. Yeah. We need some, we need some more justice. Like I've used some glycolic acid. Talk about up and here. Oops, yes, I'm not supposed to really. I'm not supposed to. My cat is gonna jump on this tree. Do not. Um, I'm not really supposed to talk about up and coming serums. No. Lithium orotate. I never made a video on that. Hi from Turkey. Vulcan. Vulcan. Is that acid a better? Transdermic acid is just very, it's a different, it's good for dark spots specifically. It's not really for like taking the skin off, you know, for exfoliating. The serum, you wanna hear about the serums? I can't, I'm not supposed to, but I, but we, we are, well, what I will tell you is down the line, but not coming up as too soon, there is going to be a dark spot um, serums. As better, that is that acid better than the one that the dermatologists use? Oh, the dermatologists use hydroquinone often, and that is no good and banned in a lot of countries and supposed to be bad for your liver. And also, I've had a lot of people, mainly from South East Asian descent or Indian descent, that have been emailing me and having terrible like gray skin from hydroquinone. So like when you stop using it, it kind of gets worse. Your skin gets worse. So that's terrifying. <laughs> so hydroquinone, I, I, it's scary stuff, but they were probably all, so you, they were using all over their face. Maybe if you use it in spots, maybe it's not as bad. I'm sure than if you have it all over your skin, cause then I'm sure you're using more of it can mess with your liver more, but then you can have that terrible results. So that's when the dark, the, the, anyways, that's why there's all this research on transamic acid right now. Peels should help. Yes. Which is glycolic acid and lactic acid. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Glycolic acid. I did use a wash. It's just a little intense for me. A skin whitener. It's yes. It's like a, a brightener. It's supposed to work for like melasma. It's used a lot with melasma and blotchy stuff. Do you have a book or anything? You, no, go in you do. Here's, oh my God. Thank you, Regina. I don't have a book. I, at some point, I was thinking of, I was like working with somebody in like Indonesia who was transcribing my videos and we're going to make them into a book, but it's just videos. It didn't really work out. Yeah. No, it sounds like a lot. I can barely get any videos out, if you guys have noticed. The next one's going to be lip blumpering, but creating a video, a book from a video, all the videos. When am I going to do that? It's, it's hard to do time management, isn't it? The story. You should write a book, Mom, for your, your journey into skincare. A lot of the stuff, I, if you guys have noticed, from my life, I've learned from my mom. So transamic acid can use uh, as a serum. No, transamic acid is much, it, it's not, it does not seem dangerous. It's the pills you probably don't want to take. Actually, some, I've, some people do take it prescribed from their, hi, rain. Thank you. You wait for the book? Okay, Regina. You might be waiting along. Can you use corn and gluten-free products? Corn and gluten free? Yes. Well, none of our products have either of those. Corn, actually, wait a second. I know they're gluten free. Then every. Yes, they do. Wow, Leslie. Wonderful. 
So actually there is some, there, oh, you guys, I had, what's a lip enhancer? This is from my brand. You got, if you haven't checked out my brand of skincare, non-toxic skincare, goodfacestuff.com, lip enhancer and all of these products. Yeah, they're amazing. But I was about to say, so they're non-toxic. So instead of petroleum products, some of our products are derived from corn. So <laughs> thank you, Rashida. Oh my gosh. Yes, powerful actives, non-toxic, very good. So this is no petroleum products, no weird toxic products, but some of them are derived from corn. So yes, most of it is for brightening the skin. Divine, A-T-A-S-A. <laughs> Uh, oh, goodfacestuff.com. Yes, check out the Bright. Those are probably the big seller. Lux, which also is all, see, all Lucid. All of these have brightening ingredients because of I had melasma. Bright's one of the best ones. And then Lux, actually, which has 10% well, soluble vitamin C. Lucid is very good with niacinamide and... I do not, I haven't been oil pulling. I really should because I've right in my coffee stains. It's pretty, well, are you in the U.S.? No tundras. It's pretty quick shipping. I mean, we ship around the world, but people have been like, wow, we already got it. Thank you, darling. <laughs> it rain. But thank you so much. Yeah, I really like this popping live enhancer. It does tingle. Okay, I know I had a subject that I have skipped. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, that's what happens. Yes, do check out. Oh, and you guys get a understand about the tranexamic acid. You Google tranexamic acid. Thank you, darling. Tranexamic acid is not the one I was talking about that's very dangerous. That's hydroquinone. That's what I was saying, Patricia. What's in the bright? Well, enzymes for brightening you got a lot of fruit enzymes and lactic acid there's a lot of great hyaluronic acid as well it's, it's like a jelly that i often use as just brand skin care thank you darling thank you leslie it has a lot of it has some honey in it, it has uh the purple color is from purple rice i know rachel that's me for and the Straightforward answers. You're thank you for years. Oh my gosh, you guys! Thank you for watching for so many years. I, <laughs> it's been a while. It's it has, and I'm I am trying to get out. So oh my gosh, so an acupuncture friend of mine. She's going to. We're gonna do some videos of the acupuncture facial, and get some acupuncture points and stuff. That's gonna be. That we're gonna we haven't shot that yet, but that's gonna be an exciting video. I should really do a nootropics video, huh? 11 years! That's what I'll do. The agent, triple zero four. I got the best eye cream. Mom. <laughs> yes, we're located in the US. Bye, Leslie, thank you. Thank you all for watching for so many years. Women's have help with the dark spot with my, yes. Actually, take that internally. Have a peaceful evening, darling. Thank you, Rain. <laughs> Rachel, email me. Um, yes, I should do an Atropics video. <laughs> These Atropics are really, really helping me. But I, I actually dropped my Atropics down a little bit. But I was doing the uridine, and I was doing... The choline, but it's DPL choline or GD. I can't remember the acronym, but if that's interesting to you, that's what it is. Um, the agent triple zero four, and that's supposed to help with the choline and the neurotransmitters and stuff. Those are the only ones I'm using right now. Okay. All right, guys. That was long. Uridine, yes, CDP choline. That's the stack you have in a DHA. DHA, the oil. That's good. 
Thank you, Rain. Hit the like button, you guys. 14 likes. Yes! Oh, I was going to say, and I paused, that we even have vegetable hydrolyzed collagen in our silk oil to balm to milk. Oh. You know what? I think that's the stack I'm doing, the agent. The agent. Okay, bye! DHA is in omegas, mumsies. So it's actually like in fish oil. It's a component of basically fish oil. Okay. Thank you guys for everything. Loveys. Mwah.